check out this super useful Obsidian plugin. So whenever your system launches, Obsidian will open minimized to your tray. So you can just go ahead and click on it and it'll open without going through the loading screen. You can close out of it and it'll continuously run in the background. So whenever you click on it again, it open the vault without having to go through the loading screen. In addition, it has a hotkey assigned to it, control shift tab, which will then open it without even have to, having to click the notification area icon. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned to find out how to enable this plugin and get it done. So the first step is to enable community plugins and find a plugin that we want to install. So in order to do that, make sure your Obsidian Vault is opened and head over to the cogwheel on the bottom left to access the settings. You'll see a tab called Community Plugins and I'm assuming that most of you will have it enabled. If you don't have it enabled for whatever reason, instead of Restricted Mode, it should say Community Plugins, which you will then have to turn on in order to find what we're looking for. Once you've got Community Plugins enabled, you can browse through them by just clicking Browse here on the second option. Type in tray. As of the time of this recording, there is only one tray plugin. Um, if for whatever reason there should be multiple ones in the future, just make sure that it's the one by the user Dragon Waki. So go ahead and install that plugin and then also enable it. So once you've enabled this plugin, you should have a new button called Options. Click on that button, and these are the main options that you're going to want to customize depending on what your needs are so in my case i like having obsidian startup whenever i launch my computer i also like it hidden um, in my tray down here so that i don't have an annoying window pop-up whenever i launch my computer i also like having it run in the background so that whenever i close out of obsidian it doesn't necessarily close the program but only um basically minimizes it to my taskbar. So those are the ones I personally have enabled. And you also want to add a tray icon so that you can use um, Obsidian from your tray. So once that's done and you've uh, configured all these options, make sure to hit re reboot on your uh, computer and I'll see you in a second. So once you've restarted your machine, you should be able to find an icon somewhere down here, either directly um, uh, visible in your taskbar notification area or if you can find it here head over to hidden icons click on them and then you should find the obsidian icon here if you want to remove it from this hidden icon selection and add it directly to your taskbar right click your taskbar head over to taskbar settings and then click on other system tray icons and make sure obsidian is enabled after you've done that, it should pop up down here in your taskbar um, notification area. So now you can just click on it and it'll open your vault. You can close out of it, click on it again, and it'll open again because it's running in the background now. You can also use the hotkey control shift tab to open it. So that's really useful um, if you primarily use your keyboard. Anyways, that's it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, I have a number of other unique and useful tutorials on this channel that you can check out right here on the screen. Till next time.